Hey everybody, I'm Mason Brown and greetings from Santa Monica. Today I'm here at the world famous Camera Obscura. And I'm about to find out what makes this obscure camera so well known. Camera Obscura is Latin for darkened room. And it turns out if there's a small hole in a dark room, light from the outside can project an image onto a surface on the inside of the dark room. How does it work? I don't know. That's not my thing. But let's us go inside to the Camera Obscura Art Lab and take a look around. I'm here with Naomi, and I, uh, you run this place? Or you? Um, yeah, I run for the city. The city runs this space as an art center, and we have an artist residency program and various classes throughout the day. The Camera Obscura mechanism is attached to the building, and it started out on the beach uh, in about 1890s in its own little tent. And it was brought back up to the bluffs at some point. It had a little shack of its own, I think near where the cannon is, right over there. Mm -hmm. uh, and then it was incorporated into this building when it was started in 1955, finished in 58, so it's been here since then. That's awesome. And do people love it or do people like... I love it. We get uh, actually thousands of people visiting a year. Of course, when it comes to camera obscuras, people in Los Angeles actually have a choice. Well, there's two in Los Angeles. The other one's at Griffith Park Observatory. It uh, has a, um, uh, like a motor that runs the platter, so you don't have any control. Here you can actually move the, right. the platter. Yeah. You get the steering wheel. Yeah, you get the steering wheel. So, so this one's way better. This one's way better. <laughs> awesome. Thank you very much. Sure. Take that, Griffith Park. Unfortunately, the resident artist, Shannon Freshwater, wasn't actually in residence when I stopped by. Of course, I'd given no notice, so why should she be? But I did run into a calligrapher. Hi, Janet. Hi, I teach for Santa Monica College Emeritus Division. So um, they contract to use the space sometimes. Some, the Parks and Recreation uses this space to teach their classes. This seems like it would be a great place to teach calligraphy and a great place to, to it's work. It's a great place to be. And do you, uh, do you ever go up to the camera obscura? I have. And I know that artists used to use it um, because they didn't have cameras and they didn't have projectors and different things. So the image would be projected down onto their paper and then they could sketch. Gotcha, so they were cheating. They were using the technology of their time. Nothing is cheating. <laughs> Nothing is cheating. <laughs> Excellent. With that lax moral code in mind, let's head up these spooky stairs and go into the camera obscura. I'm here in the camera obscura in a very cool. No one else is up here. I'm here by the echo. It's a little room. There's a steering wheel. Steering wheel, get different views of the street, and it is surprisingly cool. I can see why people in the earlier time were amazed by this technology. And look, there's the beach. Very interesting. There's the beach. The camera obscura is located at 1450 Ocean Avenue in Santa Monica. Its hours are 9 to 3 Monday through Friday, 11 to 4 on Saturday, and don't go on Sunday because it's closed. From Santa Monica, I'm Mason Brown. Wish you were here.